And again, folks, if you're watching on the live stream, the waves of students that you see entering right now are being sneaked in. Because in America in 2016, you have to use the back door if you want to participate in free speech. You get to block the front door if you're a member of the left. Professor Wide, by the way, he doesn't want to try it apparently. He doesn't want to try this whole free speech thing. When he spotted students putting up flyers for this event, he called in the guys with the guns, the campus security, because he wouldn't want posters microaggressing you, of course. He then said that the students putting up these posters were fascists, because putting up posters, that's fascist. And then he suggested that the students were responsible for death threats he had received. And he wrote on a sign outside his office, the best response to microaggression is macroaggression. In other words, if I'm offended, I get to take physical action against you. I get to be violent with you. And that's what we're watching outside right now. For those of you who don't speak low IQ, what Professor Wide means is that the best response to hearing things that you don't like is hurting people who say those things. I guarantee you this. I've certainly received more death threats than Professor Wide. Some might be from people in this room, like for example, certainly from people outside. One Reuben Martin, who told another professor at this university, Malina Abdullah, via Facebook, and this is how it's written. You w and there it is, gang. Guess what? You know what? They're not going to stop us. All right, Milana Abdullah's fan, Ruben Martin, wrote, you want I should hoid em, boss. I got a few ideas me and the fellow's been kicking around. Only thing is he won't be talking or looking so nice no more. We'll take the cannolis. The reason I'm reading it in this way is because this is exactly how it's written. Hoid em is spelled H-O-I-W-T apostrophe E-M. Speaking of Professor Abdullah, she posted this on her Facebook wall earlier this week. Folks, if you're just joining the live stream, somebody pulled the fire alarm to stop this, because this is how the fascists do it. Professor Abdullah posted this on her Facebook wall, quote, when diversity becomes a problem has been scheduled for February 25th at Cal State LA, a campus that is 90% students of color and during Black History Month. I say this event is a problem. What we gun do, y'all? And again, gun is spelled G-O apostrophe N. How about you can try listening? How about that instead of pulling the fire alarm or stopping people from entering. Or at the very least, why don't you start using proper grammar? You're a professor. <laughs> By the way, Professor Abdullah teaches a class that fulfills a diversity requirement at this university, a requirement designed to encourage tolerance and acceptance of others. You can hear the tolerance and acceptance coming from the speakers in this room as they attempt to evacuate the premises so people don't hear my deeply scary and frightening ideas.